Hey everyone, Stephanie here from the Insight Studio. You are watching Hubsessed, our YouTube channel to help you get the most out of HubSpot so that you can grow your company. Today, I'm going to show you how to create an automated follow-up email to a form submission. So an email that goes to the person that just filled out the form right after they filled it out to one, maybe let them know you received it, two, maybe tell them how quickly you'll be back to them or just to deliver clear next steps so that they're in the loop. Let's dive in. So we're gonna send an automatic email follow-up from a form submission. We're gonna start by going to marketing, then lead capture forms, and then you can click on whatever form you wanna do that for. Um, it's the same process if you're creating a brand new form, it's the second step, but we're gonna do it for an existing form because this is a newer feature. So chances are um, you have forms in your HubSpot account that don't have follow-up emails that you want, might wanna to add to. So actions, um, edit. Okay, it's this follow-up tab, the second one at the top. So create follow-up email. Um, and right here, we're gonna call it a marketing information. Who do we want it coming from? Let's have it come from me. And then, you know, the subject line, and I'm gonna be really general. I'm guessing you'll all be way more creative than I am, but let's just put something in here. Um, thanks for requesting a demo from the Insight Studio. Um, and then down here we can, same thing, we can put whatever we want, make this bold, go away, go away. There we go. Hi, oop, we'll fix that in a second. Uh, let's actually say thank you for requesting a demo. And then I'm going to set up clear expectations. We will be in touch within the next 24 hours. Hopefully you can be in touch faster than that, but <laughs> just in case. Um, and then you might say, in the meantime you dot 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 and then what they can do so it might be you can book time with us um, read how to leverage workflows to keep your CRM data clean and maybe a third one is um, watch our YouTube channel with tips on using HubSpot. Here we go. Thanks, Stephanie. Okay, and then I'm gonna go and hyperlink all of these, you know, like I would hyperlink this one to my calendar link, which is um, not gonna be an option in here. So unlike the buttons in email marketing, these are your only two. So you are gonna have to leverage URLs in this one. Um, same with, you know, like linking to a blog post or whatnot. But I always say the best thing to do here is to let them know you received their submission, um, give them clear expectations on when they can hear from you, and then kind of give them something to do in the meantime. Um, this, you've booked a time with us. The next video that you might want to watch is how to um, redirect to a thank you page with a calendar link on it. So they've probably already seen that, but they weren't ready. And so maybe in this email, they'll just go ahead and book time with you. One other thing is you have to have a footer. If you don't have one, they'll let you edit it right here. So really simple. You could just type in your company name, address, all that stuff. So um, I'm gonna, there we go. That's works. And that is what we need to do. So I'm gonna hit save. What's interesting about this is um, you can actually do more. Um, I don't know why. Um, I have never done more than one, but you could if you wanted to. Um, and then you would be able to adjust a little bit. So. There is how to send your automated follow-up email to a form submission. All I need to do is hit publish, and now that's live. 
one thing I want all of you with existing HubSpot accounts to think about real quick before you do this is what is your current process to this form that you're now doing a follow-up email to? Because if you are just now using this new feature in HubSpot that you've been using forms, chances are that your form is going into a workflow that is sending some sort of follow-up email. So um, just be really mindful that you aren't duplicating your efforts or um, you're gonna hit your customers too much. Um, so I just want to throw that out there as a thought that you take first. I hope you found this really helpful and that you're able to leverage this to have great communication with your potential customers. Okay, there you have it. An auto follow-up email to a form submission if you choose to use that in the form tool. Um, if you have any questions about that, feel free to comment on this video and we'll, we'd love to answer your questions. And I'm Stephanie from the Insight Studio. You are watching Hubsess, our YouTube channel on how to leverage HubSpot to grow your company. I hope you found this helpful. If you need any help with HubSpot, we are HubSpot administrators. We make sure HubSpot works well for companies and that companies are using the latest features that are rolling out. Reach out to us at theinsightstudio.com and we look forward to hearing from you. Bye.